Hey, y'all, it's me, Barb, hardly coming to y'all from my home office, welcoming you to the very first installment of Barb at Night. This is an exclusive experience wherein Barb Harley chooses four episodes of four classic TV shows, all united by theme. Tonight's theme is Pilots. First up is the pilot episode of I Love Lucy, the most important sitcom in history. This is the lost pilot episode, and honestly, it could have stayed lost. So why is it that you've probably never seen this episode, even if you're a Lucy super fan? That's because it was lost for almost 40 years. It turns out the pilot episode of I Love Lucy spent 39 years under the bed of one Joanne Perez, the widow of a clown superstar named Pepito. But you better believe Lucille Ball shines through in some classic moments that'll actually be repurposed in later episodes of I Love Lucy. So go on and enjoy, if you dare, the lost pilot episode of I Love Lucy. Now let's jump ahead in time about 20 years to the pilot episode of The Mary Tyler Moore Show. But while you're watching the episode, I want you to keep one little question in the back of your head because we're going to talk about it when we get back. FMK, Lou Murray Ted. Enjoy this episode. Now, FMK, um, let me see. Well, Mary Murray, obviously, he's the most stable of the bunch. And he's all, he's cute. Murray is cute. You f Lou Grant. I mean, Lou Grant could just throw you up against the wall, make all those clocks up there fall down. What time is it in Tokyo? Time to get nasty. And now, it's time to watch the most controversial episode of the night. The pilot for Bosom Buddies. As a drag queen, I feel like I had to include it because... Representation matters? No, it doesn't. I mean, it starts Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari. The whole premise of the show is that two male uh, ad exec guys need a place to live and they find a hotel that is women only. The rent's cheap and all the girls there are super hot. So they dress in drag so that they can get a room there. Just to give you an idea of what the newspapers thought about drag at the time, uh, here is an excerpt from Peter J. Boyer's review of Bosom Buddies. Uh, headline, Tiresome Gimmick. Guys in drag can be funny to a certain point. Past that point, the drag drags. Unless the fellow wearing the dress is Steve Allen or Rodney Dangerfield. I heard Rodney Dangerfield through the first brick at Stonewall. But just because Tom Hanks didn't have a problem dressing up as a woman, uh, he did find drag uncomfortable. Hanks is quoted as saying, uh, getting dressed up in women's clothing is not much fun. And honey, you're wrong about that. I mean, look at this. Look how much fun I am having. <laughs> Enjoy Bosom Buddies if you can. Let's move on to the last pilot of the night. This is the pilot of Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown's pilot, Respect, aired on November 14th, 1988, which was six days after the 1988 presidential election. And... Woo boy! The parallels. They are paralleling. For those of y'all too young to remember the 1988 election, and I just want to point out that I kinda am too young to remember that election, so get that straight. That's when George H.W. Bush won with his running mate, Dan Quayle, a man who makes J.D. Vance um, seem, well, awful, horrible. Now, Dan Quayle and J.D. Vance do have a lot in common besides just being average-looking white men. Uh, they both were called dangerously inexperienced to be so close to the presidency. <laughs> also, weirdly, in my little research, I found out that John McCain had himself a little man crush on Dan Quayle. When asked if choosing Dan Quayle would have an impact on the election, John McCain said, Oh, I can't believe a guy that handsome wouldn't have some impact on my no, he didn't say that. He did say that. He did say that. Well, enough of my Barbara Walters impression over here just talking about the news and politics. Go on. Watch Murphy Brown. Respect. And that brings us to the very end of the very first Barb at Night. But I just want to thank all of y'all for watching, for paying attention, for getting on that Patreon. $3 a month gets you all the videos and weird mind thoughts that I have about drag. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please follow me on Instagram and... As always, am I a woman? <laughs> Hardly.